Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, thank you for all uh, being here today for this final head-to-head -head press conference for this weekend's boxing um, at Wembley Arena. This, this weekend's World Championship boxing at Wembley Arena. Uh, just first of all, uh, my dad would like to apologise. Um, he's, uh, he's stuck in some traffic, so I'm, uh, I'm here to host today. Um, we've got a fantastic show on Saturday, um, as you all know. Um, this is world title fight, world title boxing, and uh, I've been looking forward to this fight my personally, uh, as I'm sure you all have been for quite some time. Um, the main event is uh, quite a quite a fight. It's one that's been obviously been delayed once, so I'm, I'm very glad to, to say that we're finally here to see the uh, Fedor Chudinov uh, in London to defend his WBA Super Middleweight Championship of the World against Enfield's Frank Buglione. Uh, just to let you know who's on the top table, if you didn't already know, I'll start from left to right. We've got the champion Fedor Chudinov, uh, we've got the, the, the legend that is Roy Jones Jr. And we've got Vlad Frunov, who's the manager and promoter of Fedor. And from the right we've got another legend on the table, Steve Collins. Uh, we've got Pascal Collins as well, who's been training f uh, f uh, Frank. And we've got the, uh, the challenger here, Frank Buglione. Like I said, this is a fight that we've all been very much looking forward to. Um, and for me personally, it's because I believe that Frank Buglioni can go out there and, and win a world title on Saturday. Um, I don't think that if you know if, if we didn't believe that Frank could to, could achieve that feat, um, I don't think it's a fight that we would we would have wanted to make or, or entertain. Um, but the fact of the matter is that we believe that Frank Buglioni Frank Buglioni is world class, um, and he's you know, it's down to him on Saturday to prove that. Um, and, I, and I firmly believe he's going to. Um, I'm sure that you'll hear from Steve and Pascal about how training's gone, and, and, and I'm sure Frank will tell you. Well, uh, you know, let me he's supposed to do the talking on Saturday, but uh, I'm sure he's got a few words to say about how much he's looking forward to this, and we'll hear from him shortly. Um, but on the, you know, in, the, in the same breath, we've, we've got a guy here to my left who, who went over to, to uh, Germany and beat Felix Stone. Um, so, you know, Federer is a very worthy champion and one that needs to be taken extremely seriously, which I'm sure. He, he has been in, and will be uh, by, by Frank and, and, and his team. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to, to welcome uh, our guests over from, from Russia, um, or America via Russia, um, in Roy's case. Um, you've got another, obviously, a bit of an really interesting twist on, on Saturday night in that Roy and Steve were always, always touted to fight each other, um, you know, a few, few, I won't say too many years ago, but a few years ago. Um, but it's a fight that never happens, so they get to pit their wits against each other on Saturday in, in a slightly different way, but, um, but all, all, all the same, they will be in opposite corners. Um, but, you know, we've got a fantastic undercard um, for you on Saturday night, which, you know, which will be live and exclusive on Box Nation. Um, but, like I said, it's a, it's, it's a cracking top of the bill um, and well worthy of a world title fight. Um, I'm just going to go down the down the line and ask each guys each of the guys individually to say a few words. Starting with Fedor, if you want. Say a few words. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, first, I want to say uh, I enjoy England. I I like, but uh, now weather to to bend. Uh, now I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Feeling uh, I'm ready to fight. Uh, I think it will be a difficult fight, interesting fight, and uh, every everybody uh, will be enjoy this uh, uh, in Saturday evening. Uh, that's all. <laughs> I don't wanna talk too much. I uh, I want uh, want uh, go inside the ring and uh, start work. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, Roy Jones Jr. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. I'm so proud to have the opportunity to come take place uh, in such a wonderful event. And um, you know, it's always fun to see uh, another legend on board like Steve Collins. And I look forward to always pinning my wits against his one way or the other. So. This time we get to do it indirectly, but it's still fun doing it because that's what we do. So I'm looking forward to a wonderful night, and I can't wait for Saturday. Thanks, And Vlad Vrinov, please, please say a few words. Frank, Frank, why do you come later for press conference, like two hours? <laughs> okay, yeah. 
Vi är väldigt hett Big, big event in England. For us, it's a uh, um, good step. I think it's only one more fight, only one more win. Thank you. I took wholeheartedly disagree with you, Vlad, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, seeing Frank prove you wrong, and uh, I'm prove, hopefully prove all of us right. And um, I'm sure Stephen Pascal, if you can say a few words here, you'll, you'll agree with me on that one. We came here early for the press conference. We waited downstairs for uh, Frank Warren. Frank Warren is not here at the moment, so we, we were asked to come up, and we come up. I don't know what he's on about. Um, but as regards Frank Bullioni, I'm just absolutely delighted to be part of a fight that's going to uh, be history making because when Frank wins this world title on Saturday, he's going to go on to do bigger and better things because he's already good enough to be world champion, but he still hasn't reached his full potential yet. He's still improving. And we're very excited to be part of it, and I want to thank Frank for bringing us on board. Thank you, Frank Bullioni. Thanks, Dave. How are you doing? Um, I'm just happy to be here today. The fight is actually happening. Um, it was supposed to happen back in, I think, July or September, or whatever, and uh, he pulled out a broken nose. We didn't think it was going to happen the second time around. We thought he actually bottled it, but he didn't, which is okay. I think he bottled it the first time. Um, we've had 12 weeks to prepare. We've had a year with Frank to prepare, not four weeks like Roy Jones had with his fighter. So uh, I think we'd have Frank better prepared tonight, and I think Vlad brought his fire here to get B. So uh, there will be a new champ on Saturday. Okay, but, and you can turn up late too, you're still getting B. Well, I'll pass you over to the challenger, Frank Guglielmi. I've only got one thing to say, really. And the new. And the new. Yeah. Thank you very much. Just, uh, just to let you know, you know, just go run through the undercard, uh, just to pick a few fights out. Uh, Lewis Petit and uh, Bradley Skeet both fighting. Um, got real high hopes for them uh, in this season. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, looking forward to, to seeing those guys back out again. Ryan Walsh uh, is fighting for the vacant uh, British title featherweight against Samir Muniemi. Um, Ahmed Patterson, Chisora's back, which uh, I'm delighted to see. And it's good to see Derek back and uh, getting back on the, uh, on the hunt for, for titles. Uh, and a fantastic undercard continues with Boy Jones Jr. Um, with Boy, I think Boy met Roy earlier, which was, uh, was a nice touch. So. <laughs> We're, um, we're looking forward to this. But yeah, like I said, it's going to be a fantastic card on, uh, on Saturday. Great night's boxing, and uh, I'm really looking forward to not only the main event, which um, is going to promise to be uh, a fantastic fight, but uh, the entire undercard. I'm sure we've got plenty of questions. Um, everyone's here to, uh, to answer them for you. Francis, what time does it start? 10 past five is the first fight. Roy, how long have you had to prepare with Fudo to the North? On about four weeks. And how, how has that preparation time been? How well, it's been very good. Uh, the, the thing about me is I don't come in and try to change the fighter. Uh, a guy was already what he is before I got to him. He was already champion once I met him. So it's not my goal to change him or train, change his outlook on boxing. My goal is to just add little things to the thing that he does well already. So it's more technical training, more specific technical training? Yes. Thanks. Frank. Is having a second training camp for this fight been beneficial? Originally, I was uh, obviously very disappointed because I was, I was so ready for the first fight. Um, but it's been a blessing in disguise. I've had another eight weeks to prepare, bringing fresh sparring partners because the, the first lot were beaten up. And um, as I say, there's doubt in their minds um, whether he suffered injury or not. They didn't want to fight originally. So um, yeah, now they're here, now they've grown some, and uh, I'm ready to go and take that belt. Said after you know Frank boxed um, after the original pullout fight, Frank you know one in five, um, and he just looked like a, a completely different animal. I thought um, there was there was something about him, about his demeanour before and after that fight that just just made me think that this this is his time. Um, and uh, I said that I felt sorry for Fedor in the interview afterwards after that fight, and, and I, I, I think Frank's going to prove me right on Saturday. I really do. You see it, you can just see it and feel it in him. Right, what, what have you seen in uh, Fedor that he does well and what, what specific things have you been working on? He does a lot of things well already, he's very powerful, um, constantly on the attack, which is what I like most. Um, 
both guys, you know, they think they, 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 they say he's a machine, you can't do this, you can't do that, but he's a very funny guy. He thinks a lot, and uh, I look forward to seeing what he comes up with when he's out there. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's um, Steve and Pascal, they're master tacticians and they're, they've got a wealth of knowledge and experience. So I've sat down and watched him with, with both of them. Um, we've picked up the faults, we've worked on a game plan, and we've had 12 weeks to do it. Um, but yeah, I've seen near enough all of his fights, and um, his last couple of fights I've watched pretty much every day. I'd say he's a strong, come forward fighter. Um, I can do the same, um, but when it comes down to it, I can I can adapt and I can change, and um, I can do what he can't. I want to go out there and show it. Pedro, have you studied many of Frank's fights? And if so, what are your impressions of him? Yeah, I'm so he his fight uh, fight and. Uh, and um, you know, we take uh, sparring partners uh, same same weight, same to taller than me, stronger than me, uh, same style, and uh, we uh, get uh, ready uh, for a uh, friend. Friend. Only one. Only one difference. Yeah. His name is Sergey Komitsky. He stayed with us also in training camp. Sorry? Sergei Komietsky, no, who is no. beat him. Yeah, he's, he's not the same style as me though, is he? So you can't hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'd like to say they're going on the Sergio Komietsky fight. Okay, we're looking at that fight and think that's what's going to be on front of you. Throw that right hand over the top and see what happens. Your fight gets knocked out. But wait for that right hand from your fighter. He's gonna get his ass kicked. Of course, I give my No, not of course, fact, fact, fact. Try the right hand, we beg it. We will pay to try the right hand, see what happens. Okay. Remember Good. that. Okay. Peter. Peter. Um, Speak a little bit. No disrespect to us, Fina is, is champion at the moment, he's current champion. Um, we've got a guy sitting in the front row here who's one of Frank's sparring partners who wouldn't last, Fina wouldn't last three rounds with Spike O'Sullivan. Frank Bellioni is, 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 is used him as, as preparation for this fight. We've got fighters, Pascal has got sparring partners that would beat Chudnov that Frank Bellioni can handle in the gym. So there's absolutely no concern from this uh, camp at all. Pascal has prepared Frank the best he's ever prepared in his career, both physically and mentally. And I'm just so excited to, uh, to be part of this. And um, it's, 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 it's going to be a great fight. We are very, very positive. Very positive and very sure. Steve, can you open name your sparring partner? Because I want to know who is Feather's next appointment. Spike O'Sullivan. sitting right there. Spike O'Sullivan. Who? When he gets Spike knocked out, he can fight Spike O'Sullivan next. Who? You can have his comeback fight against Spike O'Sullivan. North American champion Spike O'Sullivan. Ranked number nine in the world, by the way. You are? Not... Yeah. yeah. What yeah. is your name? It's good, man. Spike O'Sullivan. Who? Spike yeah, don't be an asshole. Don't oh, answer that, okay. Spike. You've just been a clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you ever box yourself? Okay. Did you ever box yourself? Okay. Did you ever do a bit of the amateurs? Okay. No, did you fight before? Me? Yeah. I'm, yeah. the, I'm the promoter. You couldn't get a head guy to fill him, Spike, so it's saying that. Look at this, look at this difference. Look at his face. How's his difference of Fedor? It's my name is Spike. Yeah. Okay. Let's stick, stick to the subject, chaps. It's, uh, as I've said, this, you know, Saturday night's going to be a fantastic card, and uh, you know, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Frank's um, army of fans again. Um, they're all there to come out in fantastic force. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be plenty more than there are usually, considering it's a world title fight. Um, you know, it's just going to be a fantastic evening's boxing. Any more questions? Why, why is Fedor's training up here? We can ask questions about preparation. Uh, Roy came in late in camp. He's a promoter. There's a bit he doesn't know about boxing. Why can't the trainer be here to ask some questions and find out a little bit about their camp? No, I... 
regarding, regarding our opinion, I want to say the most important thing. Today is Kurban Bayram for any Muslim in the world. I want to congratulate any Muslim in the world with big, big day. Today it's Kurban Bayram. Thanks so much. We will see what happens on the Saturday. It's good fight. Take care of yourself for Saturday. Thank you. Also, I want to say thank you, my most important friend of my life, Mr. Frank Warren. Yeah. Almost again played well, eh? Come over here, lose your belt. That's what you're thanking for your cup. Excuse me, I don't understand yeah. your accent. No, it's okay. <laughs> Are there any more questions? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are there any more questions? No? All right, well, thank you very much for coming down today. It's the um, be, guys will be available for one on ones. All right, last question from Spike. Yeah. Out of the first fight, you know, he pulled out, then you got to get him right for the second camp, so I think I must be concerned. What is your question? I think we might get scared. Are you, con are you concerned is that about Federal's performance? Is that why you brought Roy in? To help him out in training camp? Roy Jones is new Russian citizen. You know it? Yeah, but I'm, it doesn't matter about the citizenship or anything like that. Why do you have to bring him in to help Federal? You must be concerned. No, 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 no. He stay in our team. If you have experience, like, no, 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 more of Roy. You lose that finger if you keep pointing. Yeah. Okay. You can give me the same question. Okay. If he wants title or fight division, you can give me this question. Okay. Good luck, you. Yeah. Let's wrap that one up, I think. Um, like I said, you can see the fight live and exclusive on Box Nation on Saturday uh, if you can't make it down to Wembley Arena. Um, look forward to seeing you all then. Thanks very much.